Hey everyone, it's me, Empress Arcana, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. So I uh, decided to do one of these um, to just talk a bit. And um, I have here my, uh, <laughs> my tea in my Persona 3 mug because yay, Persona 3. Anyone else excited for that uh, Persona 3 reload? Um, I know there's a lot of like back and forth is like, oh, it's not the same voice acting cast or this, that. I am sad because I do love Yuri Lewenthal and Tara Platt and every other like original voice actor, but I understand. I understand, but still it's, uh, uh, either way, but I still have it and really excited, um, because I love Persona 3 and Ryoji Mochizuki is my favorite character and he was done so dirty. Not that that's going to change with this reload, but still. Uh, yeah, my mug has Minato, has Ryoji, and the back has Koromaru. And the message says... Ah, uh, wait, where is the message? I know it's like Memento Mori. <laughs> Remember, you will die. Like, <laughs> how scorpionic is this? <laughs> It fits right in with my Scorpio moon, right? But, um, yeah, I decided to do um, one of these just to talk, um, chat a little, get some thoughts out, I guess. Uh, I actually have my little notes this time around. Um, my last one, I didn't really... I still stand by what I said, but it was just a little bit more personal, and I kind of lost a bit of my control emotionally so um yeah so no <laughs> I have my tea and by the way I'm not listen anyone that knows me oh oh god Nanako seriously <laughs> my girl my baby my old lady she's just like pay attention to me <laughs> but um um <laughs> um oh my god so this is a bit morbid but Someone came over to um, my cousin's place uh, and saw me because I went to go cook for them and saw me and they were like, oh, hi, how are you? I'm like, oh, I'm fine. And then out of nowhere, this lady, oh, this is, this is in Spanish, but whatever. It's like, oh, is your, <laughs> dear God. I thought of something really messed up to say back, but I didn't. I held my tongue, fam. I promise you. But she looks at me. She's like, is your dog still alive? And I'm like, <laughs> what? Um, okay. <laughs> That's a nice thing to just ask. It's like, no. How is your dog doing? How How is your, your, your dog? You know, no, no. Is your, is your dog still alive? And I'm like, hmm. I had to bite my tongue so hard. Socializing is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I am just like, hmm. hmm. You, I don't go, oh God, this is so out of pocket. I don't go around telling her, hey, is your kid still alive? God bless. I'm so sorry. That is so like, oh. it's like, yo, <laughs> you don't ask that shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dog is still alive. Thank you very much. She's gonna be eleven. <laughs> oh, oh God! Now I go. <laughs> I said you're gonna be eleven. <laughs> Where's my freaking tea? Hold on. Mm. Mm. This tea's gonna knock me out. So, like, I don't. Again, I am not a tea enthusiast. I am. I drink tea for its properties that help me with my anxiety. Uh, I believe I've spoken about this before, but I'll say it again. I tend to drink, there's two teas that I drink. There's a blend that's like called, it's like a throat coat. Um, I don't remember all the things that it has, but it's it's one that they sell at, you know, at the supermarket. And then there is one specifically that's just linden tea. This is the one I grew up with um, that my mom had like the flowers and stuff. She would make the natural tea. Uh, from the flowers, the linden flowers uh, growing up. And she would always uh, give me some of that because my anxiety is a, I've always had, uh, I've always had anxiety. 
<laughs> but like, um, I never understood the, um, the gravity of, um, my anxiety. So, but no, I, I have to admit, I might, I might speak about it and whatnot, but I have been dealing with my anxiety with, um, herbal, um, remedies and stuff like that because, uh, trigger warning, uh, like many of us that are, um, given certain medications and whatnot, sometimes it just doesn't do us well. And a lot of these anxiety, depression medications do have major side effects. And for me, it would, uh, escalate the, the thing that it's supposed to help me in. So I would have a bombardment of really bad thoughts. And I was, it was, it was debilitating fam. And then I was like a zombie. It's like, no, this was many years ago. Cause I always give something a shot, but I've, I have my, uh, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but, uh, due to the things that have happened in my family with doctors and whatnot, it's, it's so hard for me to just like, okay, but I do trust. I try, you know, it didn't work for me. I, I look for it. Uh, look, look elsewhere. I'm always looking for herbal remedies and stuff like that because um, I like to do my research in, in that. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> but um, when I follow my gut, I usually, um, like when I was having like stomach issues uh, that I couldn't, I, I was having stomach issues and, and I was like, okay, let's do some research. What um, herbal medicines could help with this, this, that? And then I found like dandelion root. I found um, fennel seeds. Uh, what other things do I drink? <laughs> I drink a lot of herbal medication. But hey, you know, like mm, if it helps, you know. Um, and of course, with everything, one has to just learn how to balance what our intake is and so forth. Uh, so there's a lot going on, but it really did help me um, with like stomach inflammation and stuff like that. And then just not eating certain things, I realized that my stomach was getting even more sensitive. I couldn't have milk. I couldn't have bread. I couldn't have <laughs> a lot of things. And I haven't gotten tested or anything, but I, I just know that I'm very sensitive. So I'm like, okay, eliminate this little by little and whatnot. And since I, I, um, oh, that was my chair. Okay. <laughs> That was my chair. I didn't toot. I promise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, uh, I was going to say something. <laughs> the chair. How dare. How embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but um, hmm. yeah, just... A matter of another thing that I just realized it's just that th there's a lot of medication that has so many side effects and it it's a band-aid a lot of the time and if we don't put effort into bettering ourselves as much as and like sometimes we don't have control over that and it's more complicated so I am grateful that so far <laughs> uh knock on wood wherever the wood be <laughs> but um there, you know, it hasn't gone to that point. I, and there's just so many things, but I digress. Um, I remember I used to take, um, heart medication and it just, um, had a lot of other issues as well. Um, I had a lot of side effects, excuse me. So, oh, and it was just, it was a beta blocker for like, um, my heart rate. Cause I've always had like, why am I telling you guys this? <laughs> I hate it when I, I'm just like, la, 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 la. Oh, by the way, all my health issues. <laughs> oh, my God. Either way. So, I mean, um, my heart rate is much better now. And I'm not, I'm not even medicated for any of that. I'm just trying to do more meditation. I know it sounds lame, but truly, you know, do meditation. Um and take some, you know, tea, whatever helps to calm down. Um, so yeah, just work on that. That's what has been working for me, but it has been really stressful over here. Um, and I'm just kind of so over it. Oh, 
my girl. Nana. Baby. So, yeah. Uh, moving right along. I don't know why I went off on this. Um, oh, because I was check talking about turkey number tea. Talking about tea. <laughs> but, yeah, I go for the properties of it. And um, it's cool because I don't even put honey or sugar. I know it's like a lot of people are like, are you crazy? And it's like, yeah, I just down it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> like you know um um but i drink i drink it for its properties so it's like don't think about it and this one that i have i the throat coat has like lemon and in, in the blend and um has licorice root and the licorice root makes it sweet like has a it's like a natural sweetener so it's pretty cool i don't got to put anything in it when i make it <laughs> And, um, it's cool. That's what I, um, mm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. excuse me. Uh, that's what I'm taking. And it's not bad. Linden tea on its own is like, uh, but I'll, like I said before, I'll just, oh, gulp it down. And I'm like, okay, this is going to make me more calm. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, tea has a lot of wonderful properties. I have not, I'm not a caffeine person. I cannot have caffeine for the life of me because my heart rate, I am so anxious that my heart rate is like, is off the charts. But uh, again, it's better because I've just been doing other things to help me with that. Um, and, uh, but I remember, um, but yeah, no caffeine free. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I remember, um, it's so strange because, uh, as a, you know, as growing up in a Cuban family and Latinos everywhere, it's like always someone like, um, offering me, quiero un cafecito. Do you want a little, like, you want some coffee? Un cafecito, una tacita. Let me tell you that, that, that stuff, that stuff is dangerous, fam, because it's not an American coffee. You don't want to play with espresso or like el cafecito, as they call it. That is a dangerous, okay? That little cup that they give you and other people that don't know what they're getting themselves into, it's like, Oh, but I drink a whole cup of coffee. And then they look and it's like, well, put, put more. I remember. <laughs> Who was it that did this? Was it a friend of mine? I don't remember. Um, either way, they're like, no, give me a full cup of this. And I'm looking at, I, I'm looking at them like, listen, this is not American coffee. This is gonna like, you're gonna be flying off the, <laughs> you're gonna like, float like you're gonna just shoot up into the air okay don't do that don't do and they, but they didn't listen to me I was terrified they were just like ah, like they were shaking they're like whoa what was in this thing I'm like listen it's not American coffee it is un cafecito el cafecito has power lots and lots of caffeine <laughs> it's like don't do it <laughs> damn it listen to me i know i grew up with this shit <laughs> but um yeah no um so no caffeine um yeah <laughs> um <laughs> let's see what else was i going to talk about i just kind of like went off on so many topics um my notes <laughs> um you know, okay, so this might not be, I've heard a lot of people have issues with um, like writer's block or difficulty getting inspired, uh, inspired. There's like different scenarios because for me, I've, n I have so many ideas sometimes though, because of outside um, influences and I'm, you know, feeling a certain way doesn't matter how many ideas I have. It kind of gets short-lived when I don't feel like doing any of it. And I was filling my notebook uh, up with ideas for, for readings, for new listings, because I've been wanting to expand. And I just haven't felt um, with enough emotional and mental capacity to do much of anything. Um, with a lot of certain personal things that have been happening in my life, I just want to 
uh, sorry to be morbid times two, but I just kind of want to sleep. I want to hibernate and not wake up. <laughs> so there are those moments. We all have them. And so um, it's been very difficult for me. I believe I've spoken about this before. It's been very difficult for me to write for myself. Um, I write for work because that is work. <laughs> But it, things have been slowing down and I've been slowing down even more so. And it's just been really uh, stressful. Um, but my my heart hasn't been in a lot of... I don't like to... I've talked about this. I feel... I don't like to half-ass stuff, you know? Like if I'm going to write something or I'm going to do something, I want to put my heart and soul into it. Even if I'm pushing myself, because let me tell you guys, I'm so surprised I've like pushed out so many celeb readings the last handful of days. But I've been doing this to see if I can get back into a schedule of sorts. I know I was doing one a week, like almost two and a half years ago. Oh, wow. Has, has it been that long? Um, excuse me. It's just that, unfortunately, and for whoever does listen to this, uh, kudos to you, because I'm spilling all the tea here. I mean, not literally. I don't want to spill my tea. I want to drink it <laughs> um, for its properties. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the the community. I've gone. I've undergone a lot of toxicity. There's to there's toxicity in every community, but I have undergone a lot uh, when it comes to taking requests for celebrity uh, readings and so forth. And um, I will say it again and again, my celebrity readings are healing readings. And what I mean by that is that I do them with the intention of reading for that celebrity. A lot of people have, have told me, they're like, okay, why do you say reading for so-and-so? I was like, because I am. That's how I, I was speaking to a friend about this and reiterating this. Um, I'm putting that out into the universe, into like the intention. I'm not saying, oh, I know these people or whatnot. No, I'm just putting a positive intention to send healing and do a reading for this individual because of, you know, whether it be a request or whatnot, or I like the actor, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is what I do in my work. That's why I add healing reading because it's not about the, 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 I don't, I'm not a tabloid. I'm not like, I can't, I, I don't want to claim shit. This is not why I do things. This is not why I do it. I don't like the drama. I like to just um, go into a meditative state or a trance or whenever I'm channeling and just do my thing. And whatever comes through, if it's going to be helpful to the listener or the person watching, uh, great awesome because I am aware that a lot of people listen to my celebrity readings and there are things there are messages there for them too and I think that's beautiful and that is the reason why I love doing it but when people start requesting like love readings for the like uh, celebrities love life and stuff I, I'm not into that I I don't um, feel comfortable if it comes through in a reading okay but it came through. I'm not forcing it. That's just a personal thing for me. I know that that's what gets the views and stuff, but it's been a long time that it's not that I don't care or I don't want to grow. It's just I'm, I've am i reached a point where I'm tired of not being authentic and being myself. So I'm always going to do my very best and just speak my truth, um, even if it's not a popular opinion. I'll do it respectfully, of course, but this is just how I, I how I am. I feel that I am too old <laughs> to be putting on a mask. And I mean, we all have masks regardless of things. But for the most part, when it comes to uh, what I put online, I if I don't feel it's good enough to uh, if I'm not happy with a reading, I won't post it. Because I understand that that is done. Like I'm recording live. I'm doing this. It's whatever comes through. And I uh, lately, I don't even go back to like listen to the whole thing because I'm just so exhausted emotionally and mentally. I don't go and do that. What I do is that, you know, I look to the beginning, I cut off the beginning or like, you know, do little minimal edits and then like, you know, render, do the thing, upload, blah, you know, bada bing, bada boom. I, oh yeah, I have to do all this thing with the freaking audio so it could be on both, like, you know, um, because recording on the iPad, you can only hear on one end, and, and I fix that with 
uh, a lot of rendering and going back and forth, back and forth, editing audio, and uh, 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 all this in the iPad. I hope that one day I will have like better equipment, a better camera, because I know that this is outdated stuff. But you know what? If the message needs to be delivered, I'm going to use whatever the heck I have to deliver a message. So that is, you know, that's what I do. It's not even, that's just where I've, I've reached. Uh, wow, I'm just being really truthful in this one. Um, being, you know, talking to a friend, talking to you guys, you know, just chilling um, being truthful, I'm, it's, um, it's important to me to, to just be me. And, um, that's, that's why. And then the, the beyond the veil readings are very special. Uh, I'm surprised I did the one I did. I kind of needed a pick me up and I was talking to a friend and we were talking about astro charts and stuff like that. And, I don't remember how it came about, but yes, Walt Disney. I did a Beyond the Veil reading for, like, um, channeling comforting messages from Walt Disney. Um, and you can take whatever resonates. It's not even, it's just a comforting reading. It, that's what it's meant to be. You know, I'm not here for, for drama or tea. I, I don't care for it. I'm so sorry. That's not me. I... All my life, I've had so many people trust me with all their secrets. I've said this before, too. <laughs> I am, like, they'll go to, they'll go with me to the grave. I'm just, I'm the keeper of secrets. <laughs> I am the high priestess, baby. <laughs> no, um, I just, I'm, I just, no. <laughs> um, where's my tea, my tea, mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I hope I don't pass out as I'm recording. <laughs> Sleepy time <laughs> clonks out because <laughs> it's supposed to like get me all mellowed out so I can sleep. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous hour. But um, lately I've just been um, with too much going on in my head and I haven't been able to silence it. And yeah. But yeah, um, I wonder, do you guys, um, which one, um, how is creativity for you guys? You know, uh, for me, I've been struggling to just want to do it. You know, I've just been wanting to, what was that sound? Oh no, what I do? I don't know. Even my voice, I feel like is going through a transformation. I can hardly speak. I feel so exhausted all the time and so tired. Like, so my voice is raspier, um, which has been harder to sing, which makes me sad. <laughs> but um, it's like I don't have it in me because I sing um, something I, I've always done since I was young is just sing because it feels good. And it's it always puts me in a higher vibration, just like dancing. And for singing lately, it's like, I struggle. I'm struggling to speak. So even now, I feel like uh, I'm like I don't mind doing. I'm I'm doing this because I want to, but I'm pushing myself. I just kind of want to rest. And I know that sounds so morbid, bruh, <laughs> but it's just the truth. I feel I just feel so tired with life, guys. Everything has just been so um, disappointing. And even, hmm, it's funny how for those that celebrate birthdays, um, when you need it the most, when a birthday is needed the most for, for just to feel, to feel seen or heard or something. I know it's dumb. It's egotistical possibly. I don't know. It was the worst. I had the God, I feel like such a brat. <laughs> um, I'm grateful. I yeah, I'm giving you guys all the tea, man. I'm not I'm not hiding in this one. <laughs> um it was the worst burst the worst I can't even speak. Ugh. It was the worst birthday I've ever had. It was not only the the loneliest I've felt, although what Nanako? <laughs> it was very. It was a realization of how 
Nanako. My girl. Um, I, when I think to, but I gotta be grateful. You know what? I'm not gonna even talk about that anymore. I gotta be grateful because I can breathe. I have a roof over my head for now. <laughs> oh God. No, 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 no. Um, Oh my gosh, she keeps snorting. <laughs> Nanako, stop it. Stop snorting. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, Nanako. Nanako. <laughs> She's just like... <laughs> She's just like making all these noises. Um... Hmm. Hmm. So there's that. Although for those that like Smosh, anyone else excited that Ian and Anthony bought Smosh back and they're back together and they are like awesome. And I love it because I've Smosh is something that I've like, I've always, I've been following them forever. I mean, who hasn't, right? And, um, it's just a comedic duo besties and just awesomeness and it's just a good vibe I would always like love seeing them work together because they just knew each other so well and like I mean with reason they've been like besties forever and it's just good it was a good time I'm just like so excited and now like I look I scroll on my Instagram and like I see constant like updates with the two of them I'm like my heart my heart my my kokoro is just like oh it's it's beautiful. I'm so happy to see them. Like, the, uh, uh. and Ian is just so freaking happy. I'm just like I see it, and I'm just like, oh, and it's uh, oh god. If I start fangirling over these two, I I won't shut up. But like, I really love their dynamic, and I love that. Um, I love bonds, and I love how um, it, I can see it. I've always been able to pick up on on awesome like chemistry and and and, and bonds and uh and, and when I see it in in media and like it's authentic when I see it's like legit and real that's like where it's at fam and that feels so good to see that's like another another pair but that one I won't go too into because I don't want to be controversial <laughs> but like Timothy Chalamet and Army Hammer don't get me started like I followed and I, I saw Call Me By Your Name and I saw this like it's it, I cannot even imagine because I'm I'm not an actress or anything but when you play the role when you play a, a role and you get like like and you do you, you get sucked into that role that character Sometimes I remember reading interviews how it took them some time to get out of those characters because when they were filming, it was just so, so much. Again, I won't go into it because I will shut up. <laughs> um, but I see it and it's beautiful. And I love, I love that. Um, I love seeing truth in connections. Um, my Scorpio moon's like, yes, I see it all. <laughs> um, and my other freaking water placements. I have a water trine. I mean, come on. <laughs> I have so much water in my chart, even though I'm an air sign. I keep saying that. I know. <laughs> but I have, like, um, I'm giving you guys so much tea. Uh, <laughs> I'm just sharing the wealth, right? Because I have my tea right next to me. I have um, I have my Cancer Mercury and my MC in Cancer as well. It's um, my tenth house, and then I have my Scorpio Moon in the second house, and then I have my Pisces Jupiter uh, in the sixth house. As like good on trying, we see. 
and and there's a lot of other stuff, but they say it makes me happy because now I can I understand astrology better because I remember um, speaking to to friends in the past and I'm like looking at an, a a natal chart and I'm like what is this? <laughs> How do you interpret this? <laughs> I see a lot of confusing things and just like lines and and colors and and the signs I learned obviously because it's the planet signs and and then the the zodiac signs and that but I'm like what does this mean? Houses? What does that mean? Um, <laughs> I actually had a cool idea um, where I'm planning to do. I would love to like I was talking to my friend and I was just like how cool it'd be to do like you know I know most likely there's someone else that does this already but I, I'll do my own spin at it like an astrology forecast but like you know how like the weatherman like <laughs> like shows like you know this <laughs> this is happening in this area and if you could see me I am moving my arm and I don't know why because you can't see me but hey <laughs> excuse me um I want to do that, but like, just be completely unhinged with my astrology. Excuse me, with my astrology forecasts. Oh, I like that the uh, unhinged astrology fo- forecast. Okay, I'll think about it. Um, it's meant to be fun, not to be taken seriously. I mean, there will be like some truth to like the transits and stuff, but it's just for funsies. Uh, because I have a lot of jokes. <laughs> I'm full of jokes. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm like all over the place. But I prefer being in a more lighthearted mood. And it feels nice to just talk. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking. And it feels less lonely. <laughs> uh, um, oh, that made me sad. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh hmm but uh what was oh yeah so astrology ass astrology <laughs> listen there's nothing extra in this tea it's just tea <laughs> it's just tea hmm uh, but I'm so excited, yes, Smosh, and I'm so excited for the Sailor Moon, the new Sailor Moon movies, the Sailor Stars. Oh, don't get me started. I love Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh, it's like, I mean, I'm just still, I still think back to, come on, they made Haruka and Mishiru in the freaking dub, cousins. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, it's like that's. That was so cringe, but, 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 but there's always going to be that ongoing joke (laughs) in the fandom or like people that like Sailor Moon, but I'm so excited because, um, I'm quite obsessed with the Sailor Starlights. I love the Sailor Starlights. Sailor Starfighter owns my heart and soul. (laughs) Um, I remember, um, (laughs) gosh, I'm talking about a little bit of everything. Uh, (laughs) I remember, um, (laughs) Uh, watching Sailor Moon, the original, um, and whatever happened to Mamoru, uh, like he, I think something about the plane or something and, blah, and poor Usagi is just like, where's my man? Uh, and she, th- like, there was this whole thing, whatever. But that, like, listen, at least in the anime, the first anime, not the reboot, <coughs> I was just not a fan of, I mean, I, Mamoru or Darian for the English, but like Mamoru and Usagi, I was just like, I know that you guys are supposed to get together because obviously, you know, you're the moon kingdom in the future, the Neo, to- Neo Queen Serenity, Tokyo, Silver Moon, whatever names I can't remember right now. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't, I don't like you guys together. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't. I always liked Usagi with, but then again, there was just so much controversy with that. I always liked Usagi with Seiya. Yes, I know. Seiya had their princess and all that and blah, blah. And it was just like, 
they have the starlights have their duty and i it's been a long time so i don't remember i haven't reread the manga but i oh, sailor moon owns my heart and soul and i remember there was just so many topics like sailor moon like there was a lot of questionable things in Sailor Moon, <laughs> but there was a, also a lot of awesome like topics tackled uh, a certain way. Like I, till this day, I mean, who doesn't love Sailor Uranus and Neptune? I, they're, oh, God, I, hear me out. I look at Sailor Neptune. I look at Mishiru, and I'm like, oh my God, I want to be you. <laughs> Just like you're gorgeous, I want to be you beautiful beautiful woman beautiful 2d woman <laughs> and i'm just like oh the like just um like siren uh seductress kind of vibe and stuff i'm just a dweeb <laughs> but i i resonate with usagi <laughs> but uh, growing up i loved ray sailor mars Oh my gosh. I wanted to be her too. I was like, she's gorgeous. I want to look like her. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> oh man. I, I So like my heart is just like my heart center. I can feel it like, <laughs> that's probably not the best wording. <laughs> my heart center is throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> tea, let's take another sip of the tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, but my heart center is just like, oh yes, nostalgia, Sailor Moon, Smosh. And Persona 3, too. Oh, my gosh. Don't get me started. I thought about doing, like, um, I used to do on my Tumblr blog, um, I used to do, like, I think I've mentioned this before, so, eh, whatever. But, like, um, character analysis, tarot card, tarot character analysis. So, I, what I would do, I want to play around with that again. It was so much fun. Because I would like get a series I liked and or I would thoroughly study the characters just like I need to kind of want to want to do something. But like um, I would do that and then I would write my analysis of what card, what major arcana uh, uh, in the tarot would that character be. And I, I thought it was always interesting um, because in Persona, especially so if memory serves me correctly. Um, they did not introduce the social link system uh, until Persona, excuse me, until Persona 3. But Persona 2, Innocent Sin, and uh, I only played Innocent Sin. I haven't played Eternal Punishment. But um, there was, like, each of the characters had an arcana associated with them, but it was not the same. We, had, we didn't have the social link system, which is I love it because there's a purpose for it like okay you get to know the character's backstory you get to know them and if they're part of your you know their team your team and stuff like that and you get perks in battle which I love that they added that I believe it was in Persona 4 Golden because Persona 4 did not have that yes I'm dorking out here because I love Persona um <clears throat> And yes, I know that Atlas milks Persona anything <laughs> over and over and over. I'm like, well, <laughs> it's one of those things I'm aware, but like you can give me anything Persona and if I got the funds, I will go for it. Um, I'm, I'm a very big fan and I love the soundtracks. They're so freaking amazing. I mean, till this day, the epic like track from when you fight the final boss in persona three uh spoiler alert if you haven't played but the boss battle with you're probably not gonna even know who this is because if you haven't played nick's avatar ho oh, oh, <laughs> that track is epic and i'm like <gasps> and then also um what was it it's called um the song to save every everybody's souls or something or like uh, it's just so good. I'm just like, oh, 
But like the, the, oh, I just, I can't. It just, it's so good. It's so amazing. I'm just like, give me more. Give me more, please. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it's, um, oh, I feel like listening to it right now. I should, like, I would love to replay Persona 3. Um, the thing is that I know I lent it to a friend, my original one for the PlayStation 2. I had the PlayStation 2 version, Persona 3 Festival, which had the an the journey and the answer. Uh, and I loved it because it had the answer, which was an extra story uh, to it. I'm going to, okay, I'm, I'm trying not to. Okay, spoilers uh, and stuff, but I mean, whoever's listening, I don't, ah, whatever. The journey obviously is the, 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 the main game. And the answer is uh, an extra like dungeon that you get to crawl and fight uh, and stuff like that. But you do not get to fight as the main character because of what happens to the main character in the main storyline. <laughs> so you get to fight as Aegis, which is the robot chick. Um, and I love her and I love how they they did that because... Oh God, I, I want to play now. <laughs> um, it was done so beautifully. Um, I'm just going to go and talk about it. I want to talk about it. I don't even know how long this audio is. I'm so sorry. I'm not even done. I have lots to talk about. Where's my tea? <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Um, in Persona 3... Once you fight Nick's avatar and you, you you choose to fight because you can get the bad ending by not choosing to fight as Ryoji, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful man. Uh, I love him. Uh, if you choose to not kill Ryoji, you get to fight Nick's avatar. You don't get your memories wiped and whatnot. It doesn't lead you to the, you know, the ending. You get to, you know, train and whatnot so you can fight the rest of the, so you can play the rest of the game that's usually a persona thing like persona three and five i know i don't remember four at this point i'm sure that four had something similar um they always have that but the the messiah is minato arisato i know i know they have him his name is now makoto yuki or that was in the comic and in the manga i don't know whatever i call him minato that's what i remember him as that's like when i played i was like this is um at the time, that's what they were calling him. Minato. Um, my boo-boo. I love him too. But um, he is the real, like, he's the real deal. He becomes a freaking seal. Which, knowing this, um, I'll probably put somewhere in my audio. If you do decide to play Persona 3, this is probably not the best, <laughs> the best audio to listen to. Because I am spoiling the hell out of it. Um, but... Um, after you fight Nick's avatar, Minato starts, um, he, he becomes his like soul or what he, he becomes a seal to protect from the monster, um, behind, um, the gates of hell and all this shit. But like, um, Erebus is the fight, like the boss in the answer. And then you get like, what I like about the, the answer is <laughs> with, <laughs> It's appropriate uh, title. You get answers to the background stories of all the other characters more so, and it connects to what's ha what happened to Minato and his um, role in in the game now. So, um, so yeah, Minato technically, um, he yeah he dies, um, and he's like, I call he's the Messiah, bruh. He's the Messiah. Persona Four did not have like. Um, what was his name? His original name was Soji, and then they changed it to you. Um, for the comics, or uh, I keep saying comics, manga, blah 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 blah. Um, and then Persona Five. Oh gosh, what was his original name? I know it's Akira now. I'm not sure. It's been a while. I haven't replayed Persona Five in way too many years. I played it when it first came out. And it's been a long time because then Royal came out and I haven't played that one. What is time? What is space? What is time? What is space? <laughs> what is this, this existence? <laughs> um, but um, 
the answer, going back to Persona 3, the answer, I thought it was just done so well. Even if it's just like a dungeon that you fight enemies and stuff, the storytelling is just, it always hits me. And um, Persona 3 is very tragic. It is the most, in my opinion, it is the most tragic of the freaking games because it's sad as all freaking hell. Everyone, every one of the characters goes through someone dying and they have to, and like that, that's how they awaken their next, like the next persona. Like each of them, each of the, the your party members have to undergo a traumatic experience <laughs> so they can awaken th their next. In Persona 4, it's more lighthearted. In Persona 5, it's more like, oh yeah, justice warriors, ah, you know, but it's, Persona 3 is like, it's not for the faint of heart. I warn you, it's not for the faint of heart. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. It gobbles it up like, like you know, delicious Thanksgiving dinner, like, or something. Like, ha ha, gimme, 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 gimme. But, um, okay, enough fangirling. But yes, I, um, I love Persona 3. <laughs> like, oh, but Persona 5 is da 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 da. It's like, no, no, no. Dame Persona 3. Thank you very much. That's mine. That is, that was, that, there you go. Um, and it's funny because um, Fuka, I always remembered this and I was like, oh, that's cool. Even though I love Mitsuru because she is, oh, she's gorgeous. I'm like, she's another one. I'm like, can I be her? Can I, can I be her? Please. Um, <laughs> don't get me started on the tension between Mitsuru and Yukari. Listen, <laughs> those two. Do not fool me. Yes, I've written fan fiction of the two of them because why not? I've written a lot of fan fiction. <laughs> um, like I said, you're getting all the tea. <laughs> I loved Mitsuru and Yukari. Those two had this like... It, <laughs> I will stop there. This is not appropriate to talk about. Anyway, so... um, Very... very oops. Sorry, uh, I sorry to the cable that I I, I almost like pulled, <laughs> but um, they were just so soft and so beautiful together because Yukari had this like personal vendetta against Mitsuru. Mitsuru was completely oblivious because she's just doing her job, but then Yukari is like, uh, "You are too perfect. I hate you." <laughs> and then the tension escalates. <laughs> And I was just like, I see what you guys are doing. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, okay. Either way, um, <laughs> Fuka, the um, she's the one that um, is the the oracle that reads the um, and scans the the enemy. She doesn't fight in battle. I I know she has an ability called Oracle that she goes into. Like she does this whole thing. Oh, anyway, wow, it's been a long time. Why am I still talking about Persona 3? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having fun with this shit. Um, and, uh, <laughs> but yes, Fuka's um, second persona, like when she goes through her trauma <laughs> and has to, and, re and re awakens to her next persona, it's, it's Lucia. And I know, I got so, like, I was like, oh shit, that's my name. That's like, that's my namesake. What, what, what? Because I, I know where it, it, uh, the the lore of the the lore. Um, it is based. Her persona, Lucia, is based. No, wait. It's Lucia first. I'm sorry. It's first Lucia, and then it becomes Juno. Okay, okay. Sorry, got that mixed up because I just remembered the look of the personas. But um, with Lucia, it's like with the blindfold and whatnot because she is known as this, the patron saint of the blind and I just thought it was so cool that they implemented that and I was just like oh, I love this I love this so much like Persona 3 just like can I say it like yeah Persona 3 was made for me thank you very much but I do not appreciate that they never brought Ryoji back even though I know that there's no possible way that he can come back but I don't care yeah. hi <laughs> Bring me back my scarf boy, please. <laughs> um, okay. Am I, am I done? Am I done with persona? <laughs> never, 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 never. Um, 
it's it takes a lot for me to get into anything, right? I don't really play much games or, or, or anything, but when I like something, I stick with it. I stick with it to the very end. And the Persona series is one of them. Um, more so than Kingdom Hearts, because I do love Kingdom Hearts as well. But um, it's uh, I haven't been able to play fully Kingdom Hearts 3 because I never had a PlayStation 4. I would just use like my cousins and stuff. That's how I was able to play Persona 5. Um, and uh, yes. Oh, what's that sound? I don't like that sound. Oh, no. okay. I am back. I'm back. <laughs> Tell a friend. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I was hearing, I don't know for how long that sound was going, but I'm like, oh, that is bothering me. No. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of like nostalgia with like stuff that's coming out. I've been playing Dreamlight, Dreamlight Valley. I always confuse it with Stardew Valley because all the Valley, all the Valley games, Valley, Valley, Valley. Um, I love Stardew Valley. Don't, I love, don't get me started on Stardew Valley. Uh huh. I love modding Stardew Valley. It's lots of fun. Um, but yeah, Dreamlight Valley. Oh gosh. I made the mistake of getting it on the Switch instead of getting it like for... I don't know if it would have make, made a difference on, on Steam. I have the Steam Deck because I don't really have a computer that can take most anything. Like I have... A, I think I've spoken about this before. My computer's like... Hmm... 10 years old wait no it can't no it's yeah 10 years old it's um and it was never a computer that can do much regardless it's um it's just a screen it's like one of those all-in-one computers hey yo it still works I can still type on it I can still browse with some difficulty yeah you know it's old it's what I can't that was the chair I didn't toot <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um I'm sorry for being silly and I'm sorry if it's annoying. I or not. I'm not really sorry, but I'm also sorry. Suddy, suddy, suddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm all over the place. But yeah, um Oh my gosh, do you guys remember Live Journal? I, I I don't think many of you guys will know what the hell Live Journal is. LiveJournal.com. Oh god. So I was thinking about it because it still exists, but damn has it changed. I still have my second I my first account, uh, when you needed a code to get like a friend code to actually be able to use Live Journal, I lost that password. I can't recover it. I don't got that email. I don't got AOL. It's been too long. I don't even. Nope. <laughs> so no. Nope. Um, hmm. But I was thinking about it because back then I actually wanted to make friends. <laughs> God, that sounds so bad. It's not that I don't want to make friends. I'm just so like exhausted all the time. I'm just like, it takes too much time and effort to make friends. I'm sorry. Um, but Back then, going through like um, reading people's like friends only posts, like only add me if this, 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 that. And I'm like, God, this person is so anal about everything. <laughs> There's just like so much stuff. It's like, it's like a contract. It's like, okay, you can sign right here to be my friend. And I accept your friend request, but only if you do, if you are into this, you can't say this. And if you ever think about comparing me to this, then ugh, you're dead. <laughs> I was, as a teenager, I was just like, uh-huh, check, 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 got it. Okay, where do I sign? I didn't know any better back then. <laughs> I'm like, okay, sign me up. I want a friend. Oh my gosh. It was, and it was like the elite of the elite, you know, like friends that had, um, journals that were, <laughs> that, um, that were friends only. It's like, oh my God, I'm part of an elite friend group or something, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah. And then, oh my God, don't even like think like, um, what's the word? Oh, words leave me right now. But like, can like imagine 
when they're doing a friends list cleanup? Holding my breath. I'm like, oh no, am I still relevant? Oh my God, am I am I still special? Oh my God, this is so toxic. This was back in the day when Live Journal, Dead Journal, Greatest Journal, all these. Live Journal was the one for me, like when I first started out because uh, I was in high school. So I would actually like care about stuff, which Ugh. anyway and I was just like oh my god am I gonna make the cut is this like a freaking reality tv show it's like oh my god am I gonna make it to the next round <laughs> I'm like oh my god am I still and then when they cut like they they chop you off like they they get like you're you're eliminated I'm like oh that bitch what did I do I I was I would I would comment that literally people with friends only posts would be like you have to comment on my post at least once every time I I, I, I post something, okay? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> Back then, I didn't question these things. Mm. Mm. Sorry, took another sip of tea because I'm spilling it all. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? It's like, yeah, you were not commenting enough. So you, I'm sorry, you didn't make the cut. Mm. And I'm like, so stupid the same thing with communities the same i'm sure that that's still a thing now but i'm not part of any communities i can think of only one group like for like i i'm on live journal i i and not live i said live journal i meant to say tumblr um because i know that there's groups when you're like you do role playing and stuff like that i wasn't really part i was always an independent role player on tumblr why am i giving you guys all the deets <laughs> um but yeah, just putting it out there. I used to role play Rin Matsuoka. Yes, yes, yes. Still looking for my Sosuke. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, but um, yes, the, the swimming anime. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started. But um, it was a good time. But it was, I, re I just remember there was just so many rules and so many like, um, you had to do so many things to just stay relevant in a person's friends list. It was just ridiculous. I'm just like, I was never one of those people. I had a friends only post, but it's like, you want to be my friend? Add me. Okay. And then I'll just be like, okay, you know, whatever. At the time I'll just add people back. Um, cause it's just like, it's whatever. Um, now I just, uh, I just don't really post, uh, I still have that live journal, I think I, um, gosh, how embarrassing, whatever. Not many, if, if anyone listens to this, I'd be surprised, but I'll just talk about it anyway. I remember my use, my second username, um, was underscore superhero girl underscore. I got superhero girl from a song that I like by Eve six called superhero girl. That was my reasoning for that. And, but I, then I'm like, yeah, I want to be a superhero girl sup all right let's go <laughs> superhero girl whoa 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 <laughs> superhero girl oh my gosh what 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 is in this tea <laughs> i think i i accidentally like poured in some like essence of parrot <laughs> there's a there's a saying in spanish um when people talk too much they say in spanish um Que si, uh, how, how, blah, blah, blah. It's like, comiste cotorra. Like, did you eat a parrot or something? Because you don't just shut, you don't shut up. <laughs> um, hmm. um, anything else that's fun and I'm just, oh yeah. I, I really took, a, took down a lot of notes. Um, what does this say? I wrote it. I don't, I can't read it. <laughs> um. Hmm. I can't. Mm. No, I don't know what that says. <laughs> I, 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 I talked about that. I talked about that. Um, I guess. Okay, I'm going to get all like, um, I'm going to let my Leo Venus pop off. Um, so another embarrassing thing about me. <laughs> I'm just thinking about what should be the title for this audio, for this, like, ah, sorry, for this 
And I'm like, gosh, this is, I don't even know. This is just unhinged. <laughs> um, okay. The, well, this one's like less, you know, this one's just me being lame as a child. So I'm a hopeless romantic. Um, I've just, I, I try to hide it. <laughs> Excuse me. But as a child, oh, there was no hiding it for me. <laughs> um, there was always like certain songs that I would just really, really like growing up. Right. Um, one of them, I remember watching the movie Thumbelina. Yes. I, I love that movie. <laughs> I was quite obsessed with that movie. Um, yeah. And the song, let me be your wings. Oh my God. Let me be your wings. <laughs> uh, let me be your only love. <laughs> Yeah, you see, like, my, my voice is, ugh, it's gonna, wait. But either way, um, well, in high school, like, I believe it was uh, junior year. Sorry, I'm cracking my big fingers. Um, uh, junior year or senior year, um, my friend introduced me to an artist called Emily Autumn. I love her still to this day. And the first song I ever heard by her was called Juliet. That became an anthem, to, <laughs> like it became an anthem for me to sing, like just out of nowhere. And I would always associate, with, okay, this is so lame. Oh my gosh. The same thing with Let Me Be Your Wings. Um, those two songs. I do believe I have a playlist on my Spotify where I put all these like songs together uh, because it just kind of keeps me in a high vibration thinking about like, <laughs> I don't know, just... A uh, high love vibration, get lovey-dovey, who you know, whatever. Um, especially if I have to like get in that mindset to do writing for people. Um, <clears throat> okay, so um, that song uh, was I remember as a kid, or yeah, as a teen. I would be that extra, <laughs> like I would go, like I'd be invited to a party or whatever. And then I'd be out in the dark or like just looking at the stars and then singing and people would be like, what are you doing? And I'm just that, I'm that person. I'll just get away from everyone <laughs> and do my own thing. And I always end up singing by myself. Um, but this, I didn't know that this was manifestation. So I would always sing certain songs and, um, oh my I can't believe I'm about to, take, to, to talk about this. I would um, just imagine myself singing that to my future person, right? My future partner, whoever that would be. <laughs> and always, I always, always did that. Um, Nanako, Nanako, honey. Anyway, so, um, and Juliet was one of those songs. Let's see how, uh, excuse my throat if it doesn't come out right, but I'm just gonna like, I have the lyrics here. Um, <clears throat> I wish I had my water, not my tea. Ugh, hold on. All right, here we go. Um, cause tea is not the same as just water. It's not the same. Okay. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like singing it. Um, <clears throat> it's such a sweet song. I love it. And it's one of my favorites. To, it's still my favorite Emily Autumn song till this day. It was the first one I listened to and it's still my favorite. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You're in my stars, you know. Don't need no crystal ball to tell me so. Whispering in the air Hoping that my words find you somewhere Even when I close my eyes I'll never recreate the time that flies The consequences hanging there The sky will fall but I don't care Meet me beneath my balcony and say no one but you could ever fill my night Be the sunlight in my everyday 
<laughs> um, hmm. No one but you could ever fill my night, be the sunlight in my every day. And then, oh my god, Nanako. <laughs> She's snoring in the background. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and then it goes. Your love is haunting me. And all I want is more to set me free. Whispering in the air. Hoping that my words find you somewhere. Do you hear me call your name? I know we will never be the same. The consequences hanging there. The sky will fall, but I don't care. And it goes on to, you know, meet me beneath my balcony and say, you know, it is, it's my, one of my favorite songs till this day. It has my, my, romantic stuff what oh my gosh nanako she's just like <laughs> my girl i hope she can you breathe my girl please breathe <laughs> um oh my god <laughs> her little cuckoo cuckoo noises like cuckoo 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 <laughs> anyway i'm being so silly yeah um i'm gonna end it there i guess i had like other things and i just realized i'm like wow i've been talking so much but this was a good time. And if you listened, thank you. <laughs> um, I wanted to do something more lighthearted. I've been trying very hard after my last Empress Talks. I felt really bad because I allowed myself to be in a very vulnerable state and posted. But um, I meant well. And I wanted to still deliver a message. So hopefully this one is, if yeah, um, more lighthearted. Um because hmm, even if everything feels like it's falling apart around you, you got to keep going. Oh my gosh, how crazy. I didn't even shuffle my cards. I was going to do a reading. Whoops. I talk too much. Whoops. <laughs> um, I'll do that. I I've done enough readings. I had a lot of fun just talking. It was cool. And um, <clears throat> yeah. All right, fam. I'm ending it here. You guys take care. Um, and uh, don't be so hard on yourselves. That one's a message for me too. But don't be so hard on yourselves. You're doing great. This time is very um, heavy energetically. We got a lot of retrogrades. Neptune is going to go retrograde as well. I'll most likely do a forecast, even if it's going to be... Um, I got to do a forecast. I got to do my astro forecast and do some funnies but yeah a lot of the planets are are retrograde right now um oh my god nanako <laughs> jesus christ this girl oh my god <laughs> can you hear her i don't know if you can <laughs> She's saying goodbye too. <laughs> Feel good vibes your way and on to the next one. Take care, fam. Love you. Bye-bye.